Hi, today I'll be talking about lead code number two, adding two numbers. The question says, you are given two non-empty linked lists representing two negative integers. The digits are stored in reverse order and each of their nodes contain a single digit. So here we see an example. We have the input, it has two, four, three, which is our first non-empty linked list. And we have a second non-empty linked list, five, six, four. I've drawn them here so you can see the presentation of them. The output of these is seven, zero, eight, which is basically five plus two gives you seven, six plus four gives you 10, but since it says they can only hold a single digit, the zero remains and the one becomes a carryover to the other side, to the next one. So we have a one carryover here. Four plus three is seven. With the one carryover, it's eight. So how do we write the code for this? Well, first thing I can think about is that we can create a new list note that actually holds the numbers of addition. So five plus two, then it will be, for example, seven here. Then the next one will be four plus six. It will hold on zero, and then one will go to the um, next linked list, and then we add the last numbers together. So let's write the code, and, and I'll explain it as I go through. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a dummy list note. I explained the list note in a previous video, so if you want to look into that. So basically, a list node contains the value and a pointer to the next item in the list node. And then we point the previous to this dummy. So we create a pointer and we call it previous or prev in this case, and it points at this dummy list node. So if we can imagine this, we have now created a list node that has none and it has a pointer on it prev. We're gonna create something called carry equals zero, and this carry equals zero will have will hold on to the value as we do the addition. So it will become clearer as we go through. So the input here is L1, which is the first linked list, and L2, which is the second linked list. And we can say, while L1, so while there are values, so if we're gonna iterate on this, we wanna iterate till we exhaust all the values. So while L1 or L2, so I also want you to add all the values there, or carry. Assuming that, let's say we had nine and nine at the end, so that would be 18, you're gonna have one as carry to the next link node. So you wanna also iterate until carry is finished. It will be clearer as we go through. So the first step we wanna do is if L1, which basically means if there are still values in L1, add it to the carry. So if we imagine we have something called carry here. So the first thing it does is it takes in two. So it was zero originally. We're gonna add two to the carry. Okay, and we will point L1 to L1 next. This is the way we iterate in linked lists is that we have to shift L1 to L1 next. So L1 was here. Now we're saying L1 point to L1 next. So now L1 next is here. So now we have this value in carry. Then we're gonna do if L2. So if L2 has a value, we will do the same thing, add it to carry. So here it's five, we're gonna add this to carry. So we've done this and it's the same thing, move L2 to the next. So L2 is now here. So as this loop goes over, it's gonna add the value to carry and go to next. But now we have a value here at carry, which is equal to seven. I'm just gonna do this so you don't get confused. So now carry here is seven. We've created a empty dummy list node and we called it, uh, and we've had the pointer previous to it. So what we will basically do is say, I want the previous 
next dot next so the previous dot next so this is what i'm saying to point out to a new list node so you're going to create a new list node right and in this list node you're going to do the modulus of 10 and i'll get to that right away so the value of carry here is 7 the modulus of 10 of 7 is just 7. so what does that mean so let's say we had 23. The modulus of 2310 is 3, so which is the remainder. Let's take another example. The modulus of 97 is 7, which is right here. So any number, it's the last value, which is basically the, the remainder. So this becomes apparent, or the usefulness of this part here kicks in in the next part. If we do 6 plus 4, that will give us, in this case, so 6 plus 4 will give us 10. So the modulus of 10 will be 0. So the next one would be 0, which is this one here. So that's that's the point of this, is you can only store a single digit, and that single digit will be the last value here. Well, what about 1? What about 2? What about 9? And that's how we will... We will tackle it in the next code. But before we jump into that, we're just going to say the new priv will be priv.next. You want to just move the priv pointer to the next one here. And in this case, we already did one more. So you want to move previous here. So that when you come back to this loop, priv.next will be pointing at a new list node. This one here will be pointing at the next list node. So what do we do with the two and the remaining nine over here? We simply do an integer division. So what's an integer division? An integer division is basically subtracting and uh, dividing a number, but without taking back, without taking the remainder. So if we subtract 23 uh, by 10, then three is the remainder and two is the actual value. And this is the value we wanna store at carry. So in the next loop, instead of it being zero, it's gonna be two. So it's carried onwards to the next, and then we add the next values and and so on and so forth. So the last thing we want to do is carry integer division 10, excuse me. Um, so this part here takes in the rightmost value and this part here takes in the leftmost value. And then at the exit or of this white loop, we will return dummy dot next. Again, the dummy was this list node here. We're going to return everything on the side, which will be your value. The time complexity for this is the max of m or n. So since we have two inputs, two linked lists, the max time complexity will be the number of times we have to iterate through this. So, the, so basically the bigger one. So if this had 20 values and this had two values, then it will be the bigger ones. Since we have to touch all the values in the linked node, again, the space complexity will be also O max MN. Since we have to create, uh, since we have to create a carry to save the values before we converted it into a list node. So, which would be, yeah, we have to save these values. So all of these will be contributing into creating a space complexity. Thank you.